Hello everybody, guess what? Look what I got, do 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 do. I can't believe I got those, honestly. Um, I have to give a big shout out to my husband for securing the bag, quite literally. Um, I'll get into that later, but before I do, of course, I'm gonna say hi, welcome back to this week's Trader Joe's haul, where I found a ton of stuff this week. So many awesome summer finds too, so I can't wait to show you guys lots of new stuff as well. So if you're excited about this haul, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Support me by just doing those two things that are completely free to you but help me out a lot. So thanks for doing that. And of course, if you wanna leave a comment down below, I always appreciate and read all of them. So thank you so much. Now let's get right into this week's Trader Joe's haul. Gonna start off right here with the frozen Spanish style rice. You all know if you've been watching me, this is a staple, so I had to get it. Chimichurri rice, definitely bought two bags. Um, oops, this one's upside down. Uh, this has become like one of those late night, we're hungry, don't know what to make. I just heat this up on the stove top and Tim and I devour it. We love this stuff, it's so good. Now to a couple new items. So this is a brand new one. This is the Pad CU Stir Fried Thai Rice Noodles with Vegetables, Tofu, and Soy Sauce. Looks amazing. I really am excited to try this and I'm so glad that it is something that I get to try too. Um, and this is what it looks like. I really like the sleeve that they do so you can really look at the product and see what it looks like, not just the picture. So this is a brand new one. Let's check out the back for the nutrition facts as well as the ingredient list. So there you go. And it is microwavable, so there you go. And it's from Thailand, which is a great place. If you ever are stumped on a place to go, Thailand, I would recommend 100%. Moving on to another brand new frozen item product. This is the Panzerati Pizza Bites filled with mozzarella cheese blend and Italian tomato sauce. These look like, you know, those bagel or pizza bites that you got after school as a kid. These are like them on steroids. They look huge and I am so here to try these. They look delicious. And here are the nutrition facts on this one, as well as the ingredient list. As usual, pause the video if you need more time to look. And I like to see, okay, air fryers on there. So ovens first, microwave, then air fryer. We'll air fry these and try them in tomorrow's taste test along with this one as well. So I'm these, this week is good for the taste test. I'm excited. The last, this isn't frozen, but I'm gonna show you guys anyway. This is the pulled chicken salsa verde. This is also a brand new product. So it's cheese, seasoned, not cheesened, seasoned chicken breast in a salsa verde with roasted tomatillos and green chili peppers. I am not seeing what type of chicken. It says chicken breast. Everyone can rejoice. That's so exciting. I just missed that on the front. Wow. I can read, I promise. Um, here's the back. I'm really in a silly mood too, by the way, guys. Sorry. I'm having fun. I'm not sorry. I'm having fun. <laughs> it's summer. Woohoo. And it's really hot. So that's this new product. Tim will be trying this in the taste test as well. And then we can't forget about the last frozen item I grabbed, which is also a new product. So, you know, Trader Joe's came out with the brown sugar boba. I think that was last year or the year before. And now... They have a tropical twist on it. So this is the Tropical Green Tea Instant Boba Kit. It has passion fruit, mango, and green tea tapioca pearls um, in a drink mix. So they are vegan and gluten-free, by the way. Anybody can try them. And here is the back for the ingredient list, as well as the nutrition facts. And I'm so excited to try this. Um, in the taste test this week. Okay, I wanted to look here with the preparation instructions. So it looks like you're going to microwave it to like, you know, melt it. And then you're going to add water, tea, or sparkling water, add ice, stir, and enjoy. That sounds really refreshing actually. Perfect timing for the summer heat that is here in Southern California. So I'm looking forward to trying this as well in tomorrow's taste test. I'm gonna go put the frozen away and I will be right back. Moving right along, I'm get, gonna get through all the boring stuff real quick, but then I'm making my way up to the bags, so just 
bear with me real fast. I'm gonna go through these quickly. It's basic groceries. I got my handful of olives. I got some Brussels sprouts. I'm making a really delicious looking pasta with Brussels sprouts this week. I got some Harrow Covers. I got more sprinkles for my son. I got some more shallots, of course, because I'm acting like they're gonna go be gone in like two days. And I've been cooking with them every day. I love them so much. Uh, red onion, some more garlic, got some broccoli florets, got some organic cucumbers, two bags of romaine hearts. By the way, um, I made the most delicious salad and I am like, on repeat with it now and it's the dressing. I found this dressing I absolutely love. I think I'm gonna do a video on it because I feel like it is like, it's actually like detrimental for you guys to know this recipe because it is that good. Um, so yeah, that is that is why I got that. I got some more of the Marzano tomatoes. These are our favorite. I got some tomatoes on the vine as well. And that brings us up to some summer raviolis. So these are seasonal. However, I will say the sweet corn and burrata basil ravioli has been around for a very long time and I don't think my store ever took it out um, off the shelf uh, this year, so it might be year round now. But it used to be seasonal and I bought it anyway because it reminds me of summer. So I grabbed those and this is delicious. Same with the Italian tomato and burrata ravioloni. Um, this one is also really good. So two raviolis if you guys were looking for something different to try. I also got some garlic non crackers. Uh, Benson loves having like a charcuterie lunch. So I just got these crackers because they're the best. I love them so much. Brand new cheddar mac and cheese is back on the shelves. This is a new supplier and a new formula. So if you are used to the old cheddar mac and cheese from Trader Joe's, that it's not gonna be the same, so try it. Um, Tim and I will make this and try it in the taste test because I'll never turn down a moment to have mac and cheese. It's like one of my favorite guilty pleasures. Um, also got some more of the chocolate chip green bars because my son is now in summer and I need to have snacks around the house. Um, he doesn't, he's not a fan of eating <laughs> carrots and celery as a snack like me. Um, and then also these are brand new. These are the dark chocolate covered pistachios. Look amazing. I am so excited to try these. Here's the back for the ingredients as well as the nutrition facts. And they have a little window so you can say hi to them. Hello. You guys are gonna be in my tummy tomorrow. Um, yeah, so these are cool. I'm excited to try them. Yum. And then, dun 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 dun. Okay, so here's the mini freezer bags. And I will say they are so adorably cute. Um, and they are so not available anymore. It is kind of frustrating. I'm gonna be honest with you guys and how I feel about this. I, I think Trader Joe's has been limiting supply for certain things, and I, I'm sure it's pretty obvious to everybody at this point, um, because it's creating such a buzz, and people are selling these online for like insane prices. These are $4, okay, $3.99, and people are selling them for $50, $60, $100. Uh, they said they're gonna be restocking in July. These were only available two days they only got two shipments shipments in and some trader joe's only got one shipment in so be nice to the trader joe's employees they have no control over this it's the ceo the trader joe's corporation that's doing this and creating such a craziness around it um i got them because i wanted to show you guys i really do that i take my job seriously here on youtube for my trader joe's stuff and i wanted to show you guys because this is part of my job so here's what it looks like. I'm gonna open it. They're very small. Oh, before I open it, I wanted to show you guys a side-by-side. -side. So this is the regular size bag, and those are the minis. You can see they are very small compared to the big bag. So these are like a little lunchbox size, I would say, and they're basically the mini version of the larger version. So here's the inside. It is yellow for the hot pink one. There's no inside pouch like the large one has. It's just a basic cooler. And then this is the teal color and on the inside, it's like a light kind of mint green, bluish green color. So these are super cute and fun. If you didn't get your chance to get them, 
I was told they're restocking these colors in July and then come August there's going to be two new colors and I was told they're going to be the red and the emerald. Um, it's good to have friends that work at Trader Joe's, I'll tell you what, but I'm just, I just want you guys to just not be down on yourselves if you weren't able to get them um, because they're really cute and fun, but they're, they're literally, you can buy these like anywhere. <laughs> so you can get the same type of like lunchbox cooler at TJ Maxx or something. It just doesn't have the Trader Joe's label on it. Um, but if you were able to get them, congrats, because you know, I, I do like them. So I just want you guys to all feel included and not left out. That's all. I don't want you feeling bad about not getting the bags because life's too short to be upset about a bag. Um, okay. I also got some chunky salsa. I love this salsa. This is like my go-to. I've told you guys, I also have been making a lot of fresh pico de gallo lately, which I also love, but sometimes I am not in the mood to like cook everything and chop veggies. And I know you're not cooking sal salsa, but you know what I mean? It's just like, it's a lot of work, but, um, so sometimes I just, I don't want to do that. And I just go for the can, the jar. I also got another dill pickle mustard, um, because they're now fully stocked on the shelves and I feel like I need to stock up before summer is over. So I got one more just to tide me over cause I have one open in the fridge. I also grabbed a plain sparkling water. I love these just super refreshing in the summer. They brought this back and I had to get it cause there were only three left on the shelf. So I was like, oh my gosh, this is my favorite to the power of, and this is the red one. It's the best one in my opinion. Tim and I just did a juice off, like, I don't know, a few months ago on our channel with a taste test, and we tried all the power twos, and this was our very clear winner. So when I saw it back, I was like, yes, I'm getting it. I also got my son some more cold pressed watermelon juice. He absolutely loves this stuff. And he was my shopping partner today. So I let him get whatever he wanted. And literally this is all he wanted. So he's a good, good kid. Um, of course, more chive cheddar. Now Tim is hooked on this stuff. And so I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to be buying this twice as fast because we both love it. And yeah, I had to buy more. Uh, I got more Parmesan, Parmesan, got Tim some pepperonis. He likes to make sandwiches with these. I got a ciabatta baguette because we're actually making sandwiches right after I'm done filming this and I'm starving, I can't wait. And then I got some more sparkling guava. I'm gonna get into the wines in a second and I have some fun, stuff about these wines. So I'm going to go at the end. Not everybody cares about the wine, but those that do stay tuned. You want to hear about this. Um, got some more blue corn tortilla chips. I got green, uh, dried mango. I also got the soft and juicy mandarins. Once again, you know, I'm trying to get stuff for the summer just to get snacky foods in the house for my son. And then I got my, my favorite treats, the peanut butter treats. You guys should try these. They're really kind of chewy and hard, but um, just kidding for my dogs, of course. And then I also found these are brand new gummies. They're the bacon and eggs, sweet gummy candies. They're shaped literally like little scrambled eggs and little sizzling bacons. Um, I don't, I didn't even read if I can have these yet. Let's see. Do they have gelatin? They have sunflower oil and carnauba wax. Sounds delicious. Can't wait to try these. Um, they are vegetarian. I'm not seeing any gelatin in them, so that's great. And here's the nutrition facts for you guys as well. These are a product of Germany. Fun, 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 fun for kids too. I feel like Benson will like these just because of how they look. Now to the fun part. Okay, I had so much fun in the wine section because Trader Joe's just brought in a bunch of new wines today. And um, I just found them all and put them in my cart because I wanna show you guys. So this is the first one I found. This is the Estate Kidia Sauvignon Blanc. This was the most affordable wine. I believe this was $6. So obviously I'm gonna put it on the screen for you. This is a Chilean wine and I loved the label. I thought it was really pretty. And I just wanted to try it. I'm trying to get a little bit more of the white wines because it's getting hotter and you know, it's summer. I also found this new one. This is called Slice. It's a white wine. It's the type of wine that has the skin contact to change the color of the wine. You can see it's kind of like a very light orangey color and that's because they do the skins on the grapes. They leave them on or something. I don't know the exact process. I can't speak on that, but 
I know that the wines that have the skin contact, they do look more of this like orangey color, which is really pretty and fun for summer. This bottle right here is what I am most, well, I'll say I am first, I don't know, I'm very interested in this bottle. This is called Love, and first of all, I love the label. I love the Love label, it's really pretty. This feels like a very heavy duty bottle, and it was, I think, not the most expensive, but one of the higher uh, priced wines that I bought. Um, 2022, it's from Monterey County. And I'm telling you, this thing is heavy. Now, not only is it heavy, it also is a red wine with a blend. And it says it's 65% Zen, 19% Petite Syrah, 15% Cab Sauv, 1% Syrah. Um, it's, you know what, I'm just reading this. Love, this wine is made in the name of love and in the hues of pride. Love that, that's awesome. Um, then it's, but I wanted to mention, 15.42%, you guys. Oh my gosh, this is like a one glass of wine and save the rest for another day because that's crazy high for a wine. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to try it. Now, these two wines I have not seen before either. These are the Trader Joe's labeled wines and they're both from France. So I got the Platinum Reserve. Of course, I have to try the Platinum Reserve. Those are always the best. It's a 2022 Saint Emilion. I'm not French. I'm not even gonna have a French accent for that, but it says it's, um, I don't know what type of wine it is, or maybe it's telling me on this label, but I'm not really reading this correctly maybe, but anyway, I'm really excited to try this one. It looks amazing. And then I also found the Grand Reserve, and this is also a French, oh, it says it's a Bordeaux. I bet you this is gonna be really good too. So I'm excited to try all five of the wines that I bought, um, obviously at different times, but, I did, I'm gonna tell you guys, I did try the J. Lore wine that I bought. Um, Tim and I cracked it open and oh my gosh, it was so good. I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait to share it with you guys. And I was gonna buy it again to show, but I'm just gonna tell you right now, it's worth the purchase. So buy that J. Lore wine. Okay, and then obviously you guys can see back here, I bought some of the, uh, what's it called? Alkaline electrolyte water, so. That's the haul for the week, um, minus all the frozen stuff. I put that away. But wow, we found some really good stuff. And like I said, Tim ran out early morning and grabbed these for me. He is the most rock star husband ever, the most supportive, and I wanna give him a big shout out. So everyone in the comments, say something nice about Tim. Let him know how amazing he is and what a great guy he is. He already knows, but I want you guys all to tell him too. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe like, and leave a comment down below. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.